Morning ESM. I'm David. And I'm Sophie. Tomorrow is an exciting event for us. It's Coffee House. We'll talk more about what Coffee House is and why you should come after news and announcements. On Wednesday, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security announced that New Yorkers will not be allowed to enroll in trusted traveler programs any longer due to the passage of the Green Light Law. The TSA pre-check and global entry benefits that came with the enrollment will no longer be available. In December of 2019, the Green Light Law was passed, which gives undocumented immigrants a chance to get a driver's license as long as they have a valid form of ID, such as a driver's license from another country, a foreign passport, or a valid social security number. After a Nebraska teacher's shoes were stolen from his classroom, his students pulled together their money and brought him new ones. The act, which was recorded and posted on social media, left the teacher, Trey Payne, in tears. The video ends with the group coming together for a group hug with Payne. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge allegiance. And Student Council will be hosting an open forum on Wednesday, February 12th, during the third block in the cafeteria. Now, all students are intended, uh, invited to attend. Please sign up on the sign-up sheets posted in the library and on the bullet board in front of the auditorium to reserve your spot. Now, the topics to be discussed will include vandalism, the Pride Pass, and a fifth period. Now, if you have any questions, please see Mr. Hart and E06. And a big congratulations going out to the ESM Masterminds team that swept its home meet this past Tuesday. The varsity team of Gabe Kelsey, Lucas Ingalls, Eric Callahan, Grace Scafaro, Christian Rogers Romero, and Andrew Crone beat Bishop Ludden, CBA, and FM and finished the meet with a perfect 3-0 record. Last game it came down to the last question, and the Spartans completed their come from behind win with a 205 to 195 win over their big rival, FN. Any student interested in playing trivia can drop into room G4 on Tuesday afternoons to see what the excitement is all about. Guys? So today we have. Uh some professionals from Channel 3 News with us. Um, we have Frankie, right, mm -hmm. and Brandon. Yep. And so we were, we were going to ask you a couple questions just about news Go in general and being a professional. So um, how did you two uh, get into news? You know, I started off in school as a um, film and video major. Um, and one of the big things that impacted me was Hurricane Katrina. I'm originally from New Orleans, Louisiana. And I saw all the news coverage that was going on there. And I said, you know, I want to be a part of that. I want to be able to tell people's story. I want to be able to give them a platform. And so it started from there. I called my dad. I said, hey, I'm changing my major. He said, how much is this going to cost me? <laughs> but um, at the end of the day, um, it was something that I loved and that I was passionate about. And so I just went on with it. Absolutely. And how about you, Brandon? Oh, I actually, I always loved news. I took a class similar to this one in high school. Mm -hmm. uh, and I actually got started though in the Army because the Army has their own broadcasters and, and journalists um, and that's where I learned a lot and they had a we had an American Forces Network broadcast and uh, we'd do a newscast every night and we'd go out all over to do stories so I actually that's where I got my start and from there I got a series of jobs and about 20 years ago, ended up in Syracuse, love it here, and stayed ever since. That's fantastic. So the viewers that are um, currently watching are maybe thinking about going into broadcasting or any form of this type of major. What would you give to them as sort of a piece of advice if they choose to go into something like this? You gotta be a news junkie. That means <laughs> you gotta have it on your phone when you wake up. You wanna keep a uh, part of it throughout the day. Um, you know, read up on uh, the different papers that are here and maybe watch us and the different other stations here to kind of get that uh, feel of what's happening um, of the day. So if you got an app on your phone, see my central mobile app, um, <laughs> and just kind of keep up with it. But you yeah. have to be, a, a, as we call it, a news junkie. Yeah, that's really, that's really great advice. You have to have that passion for it. And, 
you know, you want to really do it because you just, when there's a story going on, you want to be there. You want to get that information mm -hmm. out to people and you're just, if you weren't getting paid, you'd still be doing it and be like, oh, I'm seeing this accident here and you'd be texting it out or you just want to convey important information, all kinds of information. You want to tell stories. I do a lot of storytelling and Frankie does too. Mm -hmm. He does a great job with that. So even, there's all different kinds of journalism, but it all boils down to having that passion. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us Absolutely, today. Absolutely, anytime. Continuing on to our main theme of the show, Coffee House isn't something that's been going on for too long, but it's one of the main ways of fundraising for our choirs. Coffee House is a super laid back event that we've been doing for three years now, where we showcase soloists, duets, and numbers with the entire chorus. And being from Louisiana, you might actually like our theme of okay. Mardi Gras. Oh, <laughs> that's fun. There you go. The songs that we do with the choirs uh, tend to be a little bit more jazzy and chill, while the soloists and duets can choose whatever song they want to do for the showcase. The event has had a theme for the past couple of years, with this year's theme being Mardi Gras. With the food and beverages provided matching both the theme as well as the coffee house vibe, it'll just be a really nice and laid back event. Yes. This showcase is tomorrow the 7th, starting at 7 p.m. And tickets will be $10. And coming up after weather, you'll get a sneak peek of what to expect. Today we will have a high of 35 with some snowers that will eventually turn into rain. Tomorrow we will have expected snow showers with a high of 27. Saturday will be very cold with a high of 16. Sunday and Monday, there will be multiple snow showers with highs in the mid-30s. Tuesday and Wednesday, it should be a little warmer with some possible rain and snow showers. I'm Gabby with your weather. So there are many different acts in our coffee house performance tomorrow. Yeah, so there will be a couple of group acts with the whole choir and then several solo and duet acts as well. Sophie and I are singing a duet, and we are also singing in a couple uh, other acts as well. So come see your friends perform at the middle school again tomorrow night at 7. Brian's school retired her number two basketball jersey in a ceremony that paid tribute to her memory. Gianna, her father Kobe Bryant, and seven others were killed last month when a helicopter they were flying in crashed in Calabasas, California. Students at sta and staff at Harbor Day School in Newport Beach, California took to the podium to talk in glowing terms about Gianna and how she'd always been a leader and a joy to be around. Gianna, who was 13, had dreamed of carrying on her father's legacy and playing in the WNBA. The Memphis Grizzlies finally agreed to trade Andre Iguodala. Iguodala went to the Miami Heat and Justice Winslow is reported to go to the Grizzlies. There's a third team trying to get into this trade, the Oklahoma City Thunder. The Thunder are trying to ship their power forward, Danilo Gallinari, to the Heat for picks. And I'm John, with your sports. So just to finish off the show super quick, we have a couple of announcements that we didn't mention earlier. So starting off, carnation sales. Next week is Valentine's Day on Friday. So carnations will be sold in the front lobby during the mornings. And those will be delivered to each classroom. You can buy as many as you want. You write the names on the name tag. And then once all of that is turned in, they will be delivered to whoever it is on Friday. Yes, and another announcement, uh, the Madden 20 tournament is coming up in the, in the next couple of days. It uh, should be in the, in the library. Um, also, Foreign Language Honor Society yeah, is selling carnations. And the morning weight room will be closed on Friday, February 6th, and it will open for regular hours after school on Friday. 
And just a quick shout out to our executive producer and one of the members of Morning Show, Jack Walters. We just wanted to say a quick happy birthday to him as well. Um, unfortunately, that's all the time that we have for our show today. And we just wanted to say a quick thank you for these members for joining us. Yeah, and definitely come to Coffee House. See your friends perform. Um, it's going to be great. It's tomorrow night at 7 o'clock in the middle school. But from me, David, Frankie, Brandon, and everyone else at the morning show, have a fantastic day. And thank you so much for coming again. <laughs>